Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. I would like to welcome you to another video of English grammar. Let's have a quick look what did we learn in our first lesson. We were doing learning the use of S and ES in English grammar and we learned the story of using S and E especially with third person singular and we were making positive sentences. Coming to second lesson, we learned how to make negative sentences in the present form, especially when we are making uh, the use of do not or does not. So does not as S and E S goes with the VIPs, those who are the third person singular. So we made the sentences like she works, she does not work, he does not work, it does not work, things like that. And we also used don't with I, we, you and they. In today's lesson, that is the third lesson, I would retain the rest of the things, but I'm adding uh, additional examples for making more. Uh, negative sentences using uh, does not or you know for he she it so that it's more clear because there is something we need to know that when we are saying the positive sentence is she works so to make it negative I would not use s in the end of the verb because already I used es in the end of do and I made it she does, she doesn't. So I'm not going to use ES two times in a sentence. I would use it only once. So if the sentence is she works and I want to make it negative, I would say she doesn't work. I won't say she doesn't works. It's wrong. Not two time as in a sentence when it is negative. All right. Now coming to today's lesson, you can see that I copy pasted whatever we learned in the second lesson, but I have highlighted what we are going to add uh, as a learning for the third lesson. But before going to that, let's make more examples of using uh, third person singular in negative sentences. Any guess? Can you give me any sentence? Uh, let's say uh, he writes. A letter. He writes a letter. Okay. So as we know, in the end of the verb, when it's he, she, it, we would be using s or es. So my word is write. My verb is write. I would add s. Okay, because it's he. Making it negative, I would say he doesn't write a letter. He doesn't write a letter. Now, if I say, if I make a sentence and I would say, he doesn't, he doesn't write a letter. So it's completely wrong. This is completely wrong. And you are not going to make this mistake. Okay. He doesn't write a letter. Another sentence. She cooks. Um, what does she cook? She cooks food. Okay. All right. Making it negative. She doesn't cook food. She doesn't cook food. All right. It works. It can be, it can be a computer. It works. Okay. Now making negative. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Now here you can see if it was positive, not negative, I would be using cooks. But as the sentence is negative, having not factor means I should not use S two times in a sentence. Now, if you look at that, this is it works. I already used doesn't, so I'm not going to add S in the end of work. Coming back, he doesn't, so I should not say writes. Clear? If you want to make more examples, let's do it together. Okay, one more time. What should we say? Uh huh. Okay. I would say it rains. What happened to my it? Okay. It rains here. It rains here. Okay. Or I would say it rains here every day. Okay. It doesn't rain here every day. 
that would be the negative sentence. It doesn't rain here every day. Okay, now let's have a quick look. It rains here. Okay, because it's positive sentence. There is no factor of not. When it comes to making it negative, we added it doesn't. It doesn't rain here. So I removed S in the end of the verb and I said rain only. Okay, when it comes to what's the problem? Let me check. It doesn't rain here. No, this is wrong. It doesn't rain here every day. Okay. Now coming back, it's showing me again, and it don't rain here. No, it doesn't rain here. Okay. Now coming back to making um, with he. Okay. He knows how to cook. He doesn't know how to cook. Okay. She plays piano. She doesn't play piano. Ta-da! Easy. Okay. So he knows how to play. Sorry, hard to cook. He doesn't know. No S in the end of no. She plays piano. So positive. She doesn't play piano. Okay. Now let's look at what do we have today. We are making interrogative sentences. What is an interrogative sentence? Question. We have question. So we have to make questions in present form. When we make question in present form, what do we do? We bring do or does in the beginning of the sentence. And if it is question negative, we that would be interesting. So we use don't or doesn't in the beginning. So first I should have written, let me correct it. It's not only... Okay, wait, let me... Okay. Not uh, do or does. Okay, so I would say... Do or does in the beginning of a sentence. Do or does in the start of a sentence. Okay. This is for making questions. When we are making questions, we would bring do or does in the beginning or in the start of a sentence. Okay, we would come back to don't or doesn't later. But first, we are making only interrogative sentences. Let's take a start. Okay, so I would say interrogative sentences. Okay, so my positive sentence is she. Plays piano. She plays a piano. Okay. Now, interrogative, making it a question. I need to use does or do in the beginning of the sentence. Now, where is the beginning of the sentence? We are going to take a start now. Okay, now as I know this is third person singular, so I would be choosing do or does. Any idea? Yeah, I would be using does. Does she play the piano? Does she play the piano? And in the end, I would add question mark. Another question. When we said it works, now making a question. Does it work? Yeah, it works. It works very well. But the question would be, does it work? Okay. Does he know how to cook? Does he know how to cook? No, he doesn't. Or he does. Okay. But the question is, does he? So before the 
the start of the sentence, like in the beginning of the sentence, before using the subject, he, she, it, I would be using does. Okay. Now, what would happen when it is not third person singular? It's the other persons. For instance, I, we, you singular, you plural, okay, and they. For them, we are using do in the beginning. Okay, now let's take a start. All right. I teach. I teach. Question. Do I teach? Do I teach? Okay. We, uh, we go to the, we go to the market every day. We go to the market every day. Question. I have to make it a question. So what I would do, I would bring, do we go to the market every day? Okay. And in the end, I would have a question. I don't give marks to my students when they don't put question mark in the end of the question. Okay. So we go to the, sorry, that was not the question. This is the question. Okay. Now, do I teach? Do I teach? Before the subject, I, I added do. And this is the beginning, start of the sentence. We go to the market every day. Do we? Do we? So, do in the beginning, and then the subject, and then the verb. Okay? Now, who is left? You. You speak Spanish. Okay? It's a positive sentence. Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? Now, what did I do? Do you. Do in the beginning, and then you, the subject. So, do you speak Spanish? Is that clear? Let's have a quick look. Okay. For making questions, for he, she, it, we are using does in the beginning of the sentence. Okay. So, does she play the piano? Does it work? Does he know how to cook? Talking about do, which comes with the first person singular, plural, uh, second person singular, plural, and third person plural. We are using do to make what? To make questions. I teach. Do I teach? We go to the market every day. Do we go to the market? Okay. So I hope it's clear how to use do and does in the beginning of the sentence for making questions. Now, if you notice, we have something else which is kind of interesting and I want you to have a look. What is it? We are, we are using question plus negative. So that means it's going to be it's going to be interrogative plus negative. Ooh, that's something interesting. Let's try it. So I would say don't or doesn't. Where I would use it in the start. Okay, don't worry. We are moving there. Okay, we would make it in no time. Okay, so I would say interrogative. It's easy to just take it from here. So we are making interrogative negative and we would put there for our easy reference. Okay, let's make a sentence. Interrogative negative. So I would say uh, it's a positive sentence, right? You speak Spanish. All right. Now, making it question, I would say, do you speak Spanish? Right? Do you speak Spanish? Now, this is interrogative. You are making question. Okay. Now, we have to add negative, the factor of no. So, I would say, don't you speak 
Spanish. You see? Don't you speak Spanish? All right. Now, another one. This is singular or plural. We can use it for the same. For instance, I'm making another question. Um, I saw a student outside the class and I'm not sure if he's uh, in which section, but I remember that I taught him, right? So I would say, you are my student. Okay, you are my student. Question. Are you my student? Okay, I'm a making a question are you making sorry <laughs> are, are you my student it's a it's a question right now adding the factor of no negative I would say aren't you my student aren't you my student you see this is where I used question plus factor of no now making with the uh, what else you is done and we okay we are friends we are friends question are we friends are we friends interrogative plus negative aren't we friends aren't we friends okay and then question so we are looking forward to this thing aren't we okay all right one more uh you okay i i okay i i mm, i play cricket i play cricket question now okay now this is something interesting as i have an action verb not the helping verb is rm are the helping verb but this is the action verb so wherever you have the action verb the factor of do or does come okay so i would say i play cricket question do i play cricket do i play cricket okay question then i say don't i play cricket don't I play cricket? Okay. Now, coming to third person singular. So we are using doesn't. Okay, we are using doesn't in the beginning. Okay. Simple example. Mm. <clears throat> what 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 we can say we can say that uh, she she jumps off the wall she jumps off the wall okay uh, so the question is does she jump off the wall question now I want to make interrogative negative doesn't she jump off the wall doesn't she jump off the wall so I have does and then does not together okay another example he travels a lot he travels a lot okay does he travel a lot question let's make it interrogative negative okay doesn't he travel a lot doesn't he travel a lot so I would say doesn't is my interrogative negative okay any anything else that is left she he it okay it runs so fast okay does it run so fast it's the question does it run so fast interrogative negative doesn't it run so fast you see 
doesn't it run so fast? So this is what we learn. So have a quick look. Making interrogative sentences, we had a, uh, a statement that is positive. She plays the piano. Okay, she plays the piano. Does she play the piano? Okay, and if I have to make it interrogative, negative. Can anyone tell me? She plays the piano is the positive question. Does she play the piano? An interrogative would be? Doesn't. Interrogative plus negative. Doesn't she play the piano? Okay. But that is in the other example. All right. Now we have uh, I, we, you, and they for using do. I teach. Do I teach? We go to the market. Do we go to the market? And then as I just stated here that when you have to mix them, club them together, then you say, don't you, doesn't he, don't they, don't I, like that, okay? And the examples that we have just done. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you are new, you are welcome and share it with your loved ones. Stay happy, stay healthy.